How are we doing guys? Myself, Chris Predator OBE, hitting you with a quick one. Real Talk Truth Season. Welcome to another episode of Chris's Scenarios. Now, I want every single parent, every single teacher, if you've got a young person, sit down, classes in session, let's get the pen and pad books out and let's go for a scenario that a lot of our young people will find themselves facing or if not going through. So the scenario is, your friend gets rushed. What do you do? This could be after school, this could be on the weekend, this could be when they're out, this could be something that's happened on Snapchat or something that's happened on the internet and now escalated, but your friend has been rushed. What do you do? Do you go and back them straight? A, go and back them. What are you talking about? Are you, are, are you dumb? B, do you tell your friend to take the L? Take the L for whatever reason, whatever you said, take the L. Sometimes you have to fall back. Do you see? Call someone that's older than you that can deal with the situation, not putting hands on, that can deal with the situation by de-escalating it, whether that's a teacher, whether that's an adult, whether that's a responsible adult in the sense of maybe their authorities, maybe their police. Do you take number C? Make your decision below. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. That's it. I know some of you lot going back and forth talking about nah, 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 nah. I ain't leaving it. All the rest of it. So I'm just assuming a lot of you lot's going for A. Yeah? You're going back. You're back in your bedroom. You get me? You're going back to back your bedroom. Cool, cool. Let's go through the scenario. So now you've gone back and you've backed your bedroom. Scuffle breaks out now. Man's putting hands on. So I'm going to show you a video of a scenario of what could be possibly happening. Let's take a look at this scenario. So as you can hear, see, bare hands, bare people fighting, people screaming, phones are out. There's a lot of scenarios. So we're going to break down scenario. And as the video is playing, we're going to break down scenario. So now, you got into a situation where the fight is broke out. You've gone to back your friend. Now you're in a situation in the sense of there's A, B or C. You've got into a situation of you've been hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your collateral damage. You the one that got licked in the head. You know one's there, baseball bat. You know one's there, it could be the madness. You know one's there. You've been hurt. Or B, someone from the other side has got hurt. You smashed someone else in. You know the ones there, cracked their head open. You know the ones there, block them up. You get me through them against the car, whatever, whatever. They have been hurt. You know one's there. Which one are you choosing? Make your decision now. Five, four, three, two, one. Which one are you deciding? Now, once again, I'm only assuming. I don't know, but I don't know how much people wants to be the collateral damage and take the hurt. So I'm assuming that you're going for A. Somebody got hurt. So now that someone's got hurt, this guy's broke up, mashed down. You know the one's there that he's hurt, he's injured now. You know the one's there. So now we go to the last scenario. You know the one's there. This person, now that was been hurt, has now died. There's no A and B no more. There's no there's, there's no other scenario. I know you're like, no, Chris, what? No, he's dead, yeah? He's dead. That's it, it's done. But before we go through that whole process in the sense of now you're in trouble or you're getting arrested or you might be on the run and everything, we're not going to do none of that. He's dead. Let's wind back. How many people are in that situation? Let's go through it. Just you, because you're the one that hurt them. Just your friend, because maybe it was your friend that hurt them, or all of you. Choose below. Five, four, three, two, one. Once again, I know a lot of you lot are sitting there saying, well, now all of a sudden someone's died. I don't want to be taking the LCP. So I'm going to sit there and say, you know what I'm saying? It's my brethren because they're the ones that stabbed him or they're the ones that hit him or they're the ones that done the initial hit. Okay. Your friend is now in court. Your friend is getting to a situation where there's a video that's being played. So now all of a sudden, everybody that was there, everybody is now an accomplice to murder. 
What, me even, Chris? Yeah, you understand, big man. What, did you think that you wasn't understanding? It was just your bread. No, 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 no. You know, all lined up. Everybody that threw a hand, whether it was one punch, two punch, whether it was just a kick, whether you were just standing there filming it. Yeah, you see you, the filmer. Yeah, you're on this trial as well. You're standing there as well. So everybody's lined up. You know the ones there, even the standard buyer. Yeah, the one that's just watching. You know the ones there, like, I didn't do anything. I was just watching. You see you? You're involved as well. Everybody's involved. You see that girl screaming, leave it, stop it. She's involved as well. You know the ones there? Everyone's involved because the way they see it is joint enterprise. And this is why it's so serious, guys, when sometimes you're sitting there and it's like, right, it's just a little fight or right, I'm just going to back my friend and not sometimes understanding the situation as it, it kind of plays out. And because you guys are all filming, it goes up on social media. That's evidence. I'll say it again. That's evidence. Bang to rats. You can't be sitting there, no, I didn't do anything. When they can see you throwing hands. They can see everybody in the situation. They can see your group chats when everybody's meeting up saying, this is what's going to happen. This could be after school. This could be something that's got mentioned in school. And now you're all kicked off. Once again, someone's died now, guys. For what? What was the big conversation about? You didn't like this person. That person was talking my name. That person beat up my friend. So I went back for that person, but that person was sleeping with my, my girlfriend or that person was with my girlfriend and that person didn't like me. So I didn't like that person or that person's from that area. Whatever it is, think about it. Does that amount to a life? People, what I'm saying, people, what I'm saying, because I know there's a lot of the times we get frustrated, we're angry. You're involved in it. You didn't mean sometimes for things to happen. I also get that part as well. But someone's life has been taken. What if it was your life? How would your mum feel? I know we run around and we think that, you know, like we think that we're young adults and you will deal with the problem yourself, but you're gone now. Your mum's got to think about burying you. Imagine that she brought your, you into this world, her child, created life, changed your nappies, fed you, Watch for you to get to a young adult. For now to them, for them to be burying you. All because of an argument. All because of a girl. All because of a disagreement. All because you didn't like someone. Let's think about the other scenario. At 17, you've just killed someone. You're dying down for murder. Peep the game. I know a lot of men them talk about cars is gang gang in prison and man just get it done. Shower man. Just think about it. Think about the things that you love right now. The things about think about the things that you do and you love that you couldn't even imagine not being able to do anymore. What are some of them things? Can you list them? Write them down right now. What is the things that you love? What's the things that you can't live without? Even you parents, write it down. The list of things that you can't live without. Show your child. Show your mum. Now let's go back into that situation. You're in prison. You're not seeing your mum. You're not seeing your brothers. You're not seeing your sisters. You're not having Christmas and birthdays. You're not being able to sit down in your bed and play computer, get that nice home cooked meal. Maybe a nice little hug sometimes for your mum, you know, when it's there, when you're feeling down. You might have a cold and you're not just feeling great right now. And you just, you know, just need that look of soup or look of something to pick me up. You might just want to reach out to your friends, walk around to your friend's house, go and chill out. You won't have access to these kind of things no more. What about if you're dead? That's gone. And it's a sad thing that we have to play out these scenarios, guys. It's not just about you holding a gun and, and shooting it. It's not about you just stabbing someone. It's about you being in a certain situation and understanding every choice that we make has a reaction. Yes, you might have been peer pressured. Yes, you might have been feeling threatened or scared. But everybody has a choice. Sometimes just think. We talk about the A, B and C. It should be none. I want you parents also to sit down with your children and, and play out more scenarios with them so they understand their consequences, so they understand if I do this, this might happen. 
and there is a reaction and there's a consequence to my actions. And to some of you kids, sometimes these scenarios are scenario based because we want to make you understand that we don't want you to go through that process and then realize it when it's too late. Then realize it like some of these older men that's in prison for murder, coming out when they're 30, 40, 50 years of age because they decided to go and back their friend. They decided to go and ride out. They decided because they wasn't gonna get G-checked. It doesn't make you less of a person, less of a woman or a man to walk away from a situation. Do you know what? It takes a person of character to walk away from the situation. It takes a person of strength, integrity to walk away from the situation because you know you. It's not about you being moist. I'm not moist. I'm not a bad man either. But I told you what. I know how to handle myself. So if I know I'm in a situation, I feel no way for me to relieve myself from that situation. It doesn't make me less of a man. I'm more worried about what I'm capable of doing. Some of you people get into a situation and you've got to think about if I punch someone, they could fall and bang their head. If I'm running around with a pole and I hit someone, they could hurt themselves. If I'm running around with a knife and I stab someone, I could go to prison. So it's not about you just being scared. It's not about you just, oh, but man's a like, you're not a pussy. In fact, you're actually a real person and you actually care about your life. And for me, if anybody's in a situation where you feel threatened, anybody's in a situation and your heart is not telling you to run, then I don't know what's going on. Because majority of people will run or get themselves out of the situation. Majority of people would walk away. I know sometimes our ego and our pride and where we're from and the ends don't allow you because man, them will try and run you down again and all the rest of it. But once again, think about the mentality that we're actually saying. You now have going to step up and be someone that you're not. To prove something to people that you don't really care about. So once again, you're going to step up for people that you don't really respect, you don't really care for. But you're only doing it because you feel like it's an image. Kids, please be focused. Focus on your dream. Focus on that passion. Focus on what that little butterfly is. You know that little butterfly is in your stomach. Regardless whether it's football, you've got techers. Whether you're drawing, whether you've got art, whether you're a singer. Whether you're an accountant. Whether you want to be a prime minister. Whether you want to be a scientist, doctor. Whatever your passion is. And you're sitting there every single day. And there's something in your mind. If it comes into your mind three to four times in that day. Every single day. That's you. That's your passion. Sometimes I know we want to support and, 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 and fight for our friends. And do you know what? That's loyalty. That's someone that's got integrity to, to defend their people. Of course, always defend your friends. Always defend them against bullying. Always defend them and stand up for what is right. But if you know your friend is doing something, you should be the person to be able to speak up and say, do you know what? Let's leave it. You're better than that. You've got potential. You've got a dream. I want to see you live. We need to stop giving flowers when they're actually passed away and start giving them flowers when they're actually living. But what's you guys' thoughts? Put your comments every information below please get your kids involved teachers please use this as a little bit as assignment inside your classrooms and let our young people know that how much important of these scenarios are but at the same time how great they are if you'd like to book me please get on to chrispreddy.com or you can easily email me at info at dreams reality or we are unapologetic.co.uk get in touch with us guys let's start making a difference I'm a